Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I am going to be going ahead and recapping with you guys all of the welcome screens and some of the animations from the Star Wars limited time event. Now normally I do share the welcome screens with you guys and all of the animations and everything that we saw that were really really awesome, uh, but I don't know you guys have kind of inspired me to try something new i want to give this a try and see how you guys like it so make sure you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys are enjoying it and of course give this video a big mickey thumbs up so now it is time to get serious and uh let's go ahead and uh rate those characters from worst to best i almost said best to worst worst to best. Mind you, they were all pretty good. But I did have to make a decision who was going to start us off here. So the character that took the number nine spot is a character that I had very, very high expectations for. He was supposed to be a character that, again, in my mind, was going to be very energetic when he came into the kingdom. We were maybe going to see, I don't know, a weapon or two but no he just kind of ran into the kingdom looked around and was like hey i look good and that's sort of where he left it so finn has taken the number nine spot now on to number eight now this character i didn't have high expectations for you know a massive amount of energy and a lot of action but I did, I think, have a little bit higher expectation for the quests in the kingdom. I haven't seen him do anything other than really walk around and turn his head. So I am looking forward, uh, you know, to seeing some more possible animations as I level him up. But for now, General Hux is going to be taking the number eight position. I mean, this welcome screen did very much suit him. But uh, again, I wouldn't say it is one of my favorites of all time or anything. Now on to number seven. So the character that got the number seven spot, kind of like Finn, I had very, very high expectations for. Uh, they did a great job with the character animation and stuff like that um, and appearance. And I did absolutely love sort of the participation and energy and action and all of it when they were using the battlegrounds. But unfortunately, those battlegrounds do go away. So some of the character quests, I guess I was sort of hoping for something with a little bit more action as well as the welcome screen and it just didn't happen. So the First Order Stormtrooper. I feel like since they put the First Order Stormtrooper, I'm feeling like maybe in the future we might be getting a Sith Trooper or something like that. Number six. So this character, I decided to put him at number six because I loved, loved, loved the detail and the quality of the character and stuff like that. The animations are perfect for this character. And again, the detail and stuff like that that they put into them is absolutely amazing. Um, now this character though was permanent content, not part of the limited time event. So if you guys have missed the event, do not worry. You can still collect for C-3PO. So again, this welcome screen is pretty perfect. The only thing maybe I would have said is maybe R2-D2 could have maybe just zoomed right through the screen behind him or something like that. And then he could have, you know, done his little look around and, uh, and then waved to us. But no, no, just a little detail maybe that I would have done a little bit differently. So now on to the top five. So this character here, uh, I would say didn't maybe have the best animation and stuff like that at the battlegrounds, but I did really, really enjoy their welcome screen because it did include his best buddy, BB-8. So I know for him, maybe they could have, you know, had him maybe fly in or something since he is like the best pilot ever. But uh, I did really enjoy that they included BB-8 into this for sure. Number four, okay, so this was, this was really tough for me. The top four, I feel that any one of them really could have got that number one spot. I probably spent almost a half an hour like rearranging the clips around and stuff like that. I was going, oh, I don't know which one I wanna do. And it was, uh, it was a tough call. But R2-D2 gets the number four spot. The animation of the quests and stuff like that in the kingdom are perfect. Um, I love the detail and stuff like that that they've given 
to R2-D2 as an actual character and stuff in the kingdom. And of course, the welcome screen was very entertaining. Number three goes to a character who is totally conflicted with the light and the dark and he did have a lot of great animations and stuff like that through the limited time event so i really did love those with the battlegrounds and everything and i love that we could get so so close to him as well to actually see all the detail of his lightsaber and everything and his welcome screen was pretty awesome i think i did expect maybe just a tiny bit more from it a little bit more maybe like lightsaber action or something like that but i did really sort of enjoy that he is you know using the dark side of the force and stuff like that and he's really sort of engaging or showing us you know a lot of the different uh, abilities that he does have but it wasn't enough to get the number two spot which goes to a character that i almost gave the number one spot to um purely because he does something very different now this character, I love the welcome screen, I love the animations of the quests, I loved pretty much everything, the detail in the actual character itself, um, but really what made this character get the number two spot was the fact that when he comes into the kingdom, or he's roaming the kingdom doing a quest, he makes noise. So, BB-8 gets the number two spot for, again, basically just being adorable and communicating with us and I wish more characters did this in the kingdom we do hear a lot from you know a good chunk of the Toy Story characters that we unlock early on in the game as well as like a lot of the Mickey and Friends characters and stuff but other than that we don't really hear a lot from any of the other characters so for example any of the Frozen or uh, Big Hero 6 or Lilo and Stitch like there's just nothing even permanent content like you know all of the tangled and sleeping beauty all of it is just not present and i feel that the fact they added that uh, sound effects and stuff like that with this character totally got them to this spot so congratulations bb8 on being my number two now the character that got the number one spot it was hard not to give it to her she she was just amazing. The animations with the limited time event itself, with the battlegrounds around the kingdom, the dialogue even, which I know I haven't talked a lot about, but the dialogue with her was even pretty good. Like everything was on point and her welcome screen just blew my mind. I love it. She comes into the kingdom using her staff and then uses the force to get her lightsaber and doesn't just get it she uses it and i'm just honestly i can watch that welcome screen over and over and over again and that is why ray gets number one so congratulations ray on being my rated number one character to do with the entire star wars collection so i couldn't be happier for ray but uh now guys it is your turn i want to hear who you would rate number nine to number one in terms of the star wars character so go ahead and put it in the comment section below guys i want to i want to read all of them i want to hear what you guys have to say whether you guys got the characters or not this video provided all the an good animations or the best animations so you guys can obviously see that and rate them yourselves depending again on uh, what you guys thought of all the characters now again don't worry r2d2 and c3po are available still to collect in your kingdom so those two are the permanent content characters uh, for the star wars collection at this point i do believe they are going to expand on that hopefully soon because i am very very excited uh, that we have all these new characters and stuff like that this is going to be a huge expansion for the game going forward i mean they got their own land very very clearly and everything so i know this is not the end for star wars there's still two sections of cursed land for us guys this is gonna be huge so believe me i'm gonna have to do another rating and this is probably why i decided to start with this collection for the ratings because uh yeah this one is just gonna be such a big big collection and i cannot wait for characters like chewy and stuff like that to come in here because guys if they it he has to come I mean, what are we gonna do without chewy right nothing we need him in the kingdom but i am very happy with all the ones that are there so far 
So, again, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it that Mickey thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you guys are new and hit that bell for post notifications so you guys know when I go live in the future or post a video. Again, thanks so much for watching, guys, and all of your support through this very emotional and tough time for me right now. But, again, you guys have been amazing, and thank you so, so much. And have a wonderful night, and I will see you very soon for another DMK video. Bye!